Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you how to make smarter trades. In today's video, I wanna show you how to enter an Iron Condor trade inside of your Thinkorswim platform. So again, this video is more about the logistics of how to get this trade on. It's not necessarily about how we would price it or what we look for in setups. We have other videos about Iron Condors, but it's just purely for the logistics of how to actually uh, set up this order and get it filled here inside of Thinkorswim. So when you're inside of your Thinkorswim platform, again, to make any trade, you're gonna be going to the trade tab and then typing in the ticker symbol of whatever you want to trade. So in this case, we're gonna type in SPY, which is just the major market ETF. Uh, from here, you're gonna select the contract month that you're gonna be dealing with. We'll just open up the April contracts. And remember that an iron condor is basically the combination of two spreads. So I'm just scrolling down here so you can see. Uh, but it's a combination of two spreads. You have a call credit spread on the left-hand side of your uh, position pricing table or your option pricing table, and then you have a put credit spread. So on the right hand side, the combination is selling inside legs uh, out of the money and then buying options even further out than the legs that we are selling. So here's maybe just the setup that we could have. Again, not that we would necessarily do this. I'm just trying to show you the logistics. You would maybe sell the 232 puts and buy the 231 puts. Okay, that would be on the put side, that would be your put spread. On the call side, you could sell the 236 calls and buy the 237 calls. That would be your call spread on this side. Now, again, you wanna do this and set these up these iron condors so that these spreads are out of the money. The stock right now, SPY is trading about 234 and a half or so. So we're doing this out of the money. Now, there's a couple different ways you can actually set up this trade. I'm gonna show you the first way. This is not my preferred way, but I'll show you the, the way that most people do it. And I'll show you the way that I like to do it kind of with a little bit of hotkeys on the keyboard. The first thing that you're gonna do is just pick one side of the trade to start with. And you're gonna pick that short strike that you're gonna sell first. So let's say we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sell, uh, in this case, the 236, 237 call spread. And we're gonna to try to do the 232, 231 put spread. You're gonna right click on one of those short strikes and go down to sell and then go up to Iron Condor. So this is gonna bring up a pre-populated default box. Now the problem with doing it this way, and I see a lot of people doing this, and this is okay, is that this order default box basically groups all of the closest strike prices together at one time. So you can see we right clicked on the 236 calls and it basically put together the 236 and a half and then the 235 and a half and 235 puts. Well, we're never gonna be selling puts that are that close to our calls. That just doesn't make sense to do that, but that's how the system does it, right? So what you would have to do from here is you would have to manually go in and change all of the pricing. So you'd have to say, okay, I want to do the 233 puts, right? And, uh, or whatever the case is, I think we were targeting maybe 232. So, okay, so 232 puts, I want to buy the 231 puts, right? So you see how we're just like changing these on the fly. Instead of the 236 and a half calls, I want to buy the 237 calls, right? So now we've actually changed the order so that it kind of fits, so that it's inside of what we want, but we had to do that manually. If you do that manually, the pricing does reflect the change as you keep going. So there's no need to readjust the pricing. It will always go towards, the, again, the mid or mark price on this. If you make things much wider, you can see it just naturally changes the pricing back and forth, right? So you don't have to worry about doing that at all. I think the easier way to do it, and I'm gonna cancel out of this order box, the easier way to do it that I found is to manually click the different strike prices. Now it takes a little bit more time and effort because you have to get used to doing this, but what you can do is hold down the control key on your keyboard, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, and you manually click the bid or the ask price for each of the strikes. So notice when you hover over the bid or the ask, it'll say sell or buy on the cursor. It might be a little bit blurry on your screen, but you can zoom in and see it. But we're just gonna go ahead and click the sell order for the 236 calls. We're gonna click the buy ask for the 237s. Notice it automatically associates those two together as a vertical spread. Then we're gonna scroll up and we're gonna click the ask, or I'm sorry, the bid price to sell the 232s and the ask price to buy the 231s. So again, we got to the same place much quicker and I know exactly which strikes I'm selecting. There's no confusion. I'm doing click, click, buy, sell, et cetera, et cetera, the bid and the ask, 
And again, you get that same pricing right here. So that's the easiest way that I know to get these iron condor trades in. And obviously from here, you can kind of adjust pricing as, as you see fit and make it fit to your you know, requirements for risk and reward and also for probability of success. So once you hit confirm and send, the order goes in and you're all set. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, please ask them in the comment section right below. If you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful, please consider sharing it online. Help spread the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha. And until next time, happy trading.